Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to E-Dogs Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tobot Galaxy Detectives Agent Titan. Agent Titan is a part of the Galaxy Detectives Series 1.5 titled The Secret of Swag. The story goes like this. Tyler's Tobots encountered an alien robot named Swag and his Tobots, intending to overthrow the original crew. They soon have to work together to defeat the Android Junkers, a group of robotic cryptoids hunting the Tobots to siphon their V energy and restore their ultimate weapon. Now, there are two pieces in this uh, packaging. We'll go through everything. So this is what the box looks like. The, the figures for ages uh, four and up. On the bottom, you can see him already in his vehicle mode there. There's a barcode. Or I should say QR code there. They'll allow you to watch it on YouTube. And since we are on that subject, you can also watch it on MeWatch slash Toggle, which is located in Singapore. Uh, Monster Channel, which is located in Malaysia. Cartoon Network, as I said. YouTube and Netflix. Now, Netflix is probably the best place to watch all of the uh, Galaxy Detective episode, including the regular Tobot series. On this side, it says Agent Titan, more powerful than ever before. And then on this side of the box of this turn around, we have this little guy back here. We have the main figure there, and then we have this robot there. On the back of the box, we have him standing in the middle of the street, or it seems. Uh, it just says, uh, the hero awakens more powerful than ever before. Tobot Galaxy Detectives. Over here, it comes with a ramp. I'll show that off in a second. And then it shows you how all of this comes together. On this side of the box is this uh, Agent Titan, you know, just standing there off camera a little bit. And then over here, we have Agent, uh, we have uh, Tobots there and barcode things in there. Young Toys is based out of South Korea. Um, the show may be transmitted out of the, out of the city of Seoul, not 100% sure, but that was what it is. Now, what you get in the box, first is this ramp. Now, it's a cardboard ramp. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the side. It says Ancient Titan on the back and on this side. Now, if you flip it upside down, you get this nice little background scene here right, of the street. So we can put that there for now, right next to the main figure. Second thing I want to bring in is this little guy, right? He doesn't have a name, so we're just going to call him Titan for now. And uh, he's a little bit smaller than, uh, let's say, any typical uh, legacy or kingdom figure in vehicle mode. Um, the only one that's a little bigger than him is uh, Trailbreaker, but uh, but this is what it looks like from the front. This helmet is supposed to come up like that, and this is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like from the back, and this is what it looks like from this side. Now, articulation-wise, there's not a lot going on besides the arms. So you can do this with the arms, go all the way back like that, and all the way to the front like that. Legs. You can bring up this far it has a little bit of, of a knee, just a tiny bit of a knee, like that. You can bring it out on the leg, so like that. Now we have swivel, but it's based at two points. So that get the hips that move, and then we have it right above the knee that down there. Um, there's no anchor rocker for the feet, but it will move backwards for the transformation. Right. There's no waist articulation either because of the gimmick, and that gimmick is a spring-loaded uh, mechanism in his back. But he is supposed to be a fire, fire, uh, firefighter, yep, in his gear, right? And you can place him in front of here if you want. Let's get that in focus. Right, you need to have him standing there. Okay, with that done, let's bring in the main portion of the video, which is this. This is a rescue vehicle, 
On one side, we have the uh, high pressure nozzle to put out fire. And then we have this claw to kind of maybe knock down a wall, cut through a gate. Maybe there's some bars in the way. You never know. Maybe they need to, you know, pry a door off a car or some type of dingo. But that's that's what I'm thinking it is. So this is what it looks like from this angle, you know, red. Uh, a little bit of gold, some silver here and there. On the back, we got this on the back right here. And this side over top and we have the bottom now these fingers are spring loaded and there's are a lot of compromises you know to get the spring loaded feature to work and um before we go any further let's bring in some comparisons because i have those ready to go and the uh, only one we have we have galaxy prime there, very similar, you know, an idea. These ladders can go up if you need to. Uh, same thing with the uh, Galaxy Prime, I'm not gonna do that, but you can do it on this one as well. You know, one time, you know, right? If you need to. And these will go all the way back, just in case I leave it out, all right? give you uh, another scale right we're gonna bring in Rodimus just for the sake of it let's bring him here let's bring him here right so you have that going on there you see and uh, let's see what that looks like standing up you know Rodimus is a little narrow and this one's a little bit wider right but let's bring in his colleagues from the show before we go in further. So we're going to bring in um, Storm Joe, which is a police indie race car looking thing. And we're going to bring in this guy alpha plus which is a lamborghini aventador so so you have that going on there so you want to see it in a straight line that's probably the best i can do right that's how that looks there. Let's bring up two of these. Kind of give an overview of what that looks like. The nose on this one. A little, little longer. And this one, same thing. The nose is a little longer on that one. Now, let me get these out of the way. So back to the little guy. Where's the little guy going? Right? All we have to do is just transform this guy. All right, so we're just gonna turn, we're gonna turn here, all right? Turn there, we're gonna lower the helmet and we wanna squeeze the shoulders into place. And there are, is a peg and a port system here. We plug that in, all right? We're gonna flip up the feet using the heel backwards like that. And we're gonna bring up the backpack. And there's gonna be uh, a spring-loaded uh, clip there, clip system. Then we have to bring this up. And you gotta make sure it clicks or it will not hold. And then you use these friction clips on the back. And you just pick these two together. These fall into like two little holes, this backpack. And you have this little vehicle here. All right. Now we're gonna do another comparison real quick. 
right? So we're going to bring in what I like, what they call mine cores. And this is the first mine core. This is the part of uh, Star and Dro. It's a little uh, ra um, police RC race car type of deal. And we're going to stick that next to him. Right? Bring that into focus. Right? Another thing we're going to bring in is another mine core, which is a part of Alpha Plus. And we're going to stick that here. Right? We're going to do a quick comparison of this. Sorry for my camera. It will not stay the way I want it. So we have these two here. Right? You can see how, how, how small that is. Autofocus, please. Right? And we're going to bring up the other one. It's a little bit bigger. Like that. And like that. And how this works is you take this piece and there's a magnet inside of there. And it's going to trigger the automorph on this, pe on this piece. And sometimes it will do it, other times it won't do it. It depends on how fast, uh, you know, you push this into that slot. So we're going to try it one time. See what happens. Oh, it made it. So and that's how it transforms. You bring that up, right? And this is Agent Titan in his complete form, if you will. Oh, let me take you through it. This is what it looks like now. Right from the front, the light bar is on his shoulders now. I uh, got a little bit more gold going on, red and silver again. This would look like from the side. This would look like from the back. And this would look like from this side. Now the articulation again are is very limited. And uh, you can only go about that far on the shoulder. Elbows do not move. There's no swivel. The fists do not move. The legs are locked into place. Those are not going anywhere. Cause see, these two are locked are locked into the feet. The waist does move, but it only moves in what is that? The left side, towards the left, right? For the transformation, like that. But it will not move to the right at all. The head can move to the left and the right if you move it right. 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 But as for these um the ladder pieces, you can bring those forward. Right? But you wouldn't be able to aim them at anything. So they they stay in the back. Right, so that's one and done. We're gonna bring out uh, Storm Joe. Same gimmick, but this time he has a ramp. Bring down a ramp. There's a magnet right there. Let's see if we give him some more space. Uh, where is he? We take the mine core, bring that on camera. Let's move this out of the way, matter of fact. And uh, we just wanna roll this up the back. A little bit more gusto, and there you go. There's two. Right. Uh, let's bring in Alpha Plus, uh, which is a manual transformation, if you will. And I'll just go through it real quick. Just move this back, move this back, bring this up one motion. Lock this all in place, bring out the heel spur. Right, separate feet and legs. Right, take the shoulder, bring this down. Right, 
bring this over, bring that down. Now you do have to raise this, just in case it slides down. Um, this back piece comes down, flip this back. All right, you get the arms up, bring out the hinge. Bring this on. And then to activate the uh, his little uh, stomach right here, you just push down on the head. Oops. Right, pops that out. Take your your uh, mine car, pop it in here. Which way is it? Switch this, this way. And there you have it. You have Swag's team for the most part. I'm missing one character. His name is Grand Champion. Uh, when I do get him, I will add him to the uh, the video list. He's very hard to get a hold of. And he's only available abroad. So... So, where is my, uh, I don't have it. All right, so this figure stands about maybe 10 inches tall. This one is about maybe five and a half, maybe six. And this one, he maybe seven, seven, inch, seven inches tall. I don't have my measuring tape on me right now. But yeah, there you go. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will read those every day. And I do respond to them. And that's it about it. So I want to thank you for watching this video. And I'm going to see you in the next one.